Before you watch this video, make sure you press the like button, subscribe to my channel and to share with your friends. Let's go! Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another video and that today we will be testing out Lies of P. Demo just came out and I've really been waiting to try this game to see how it works on Intel Arc and uh, well, 2023 is a year of uh, demo gameplay, so uh, it's good to see because many games are broken, so uh, getting a demo before the final release is actually a pretty good idea to probably generate more sales for the game and uh, yeah, let's go. We we are going to press any button. I think this game is based on uh, Unreal Engine. I'm not totally sure, but uh, yeah, it's a Souls like game, Lies of P. We've been waiting this for some time, and uh, today we'll be testing 4K, 1080p, and uh, 1440p, including FSR at 4K. So uh, yeah, let's go. Let's start the game. Here we go. We currently have 4K best quality preset which is uh, quite demanding actually but uh, Intel Arc is not giving up its hope yet because uh, you will see what I mean it actually runs pretty good except at 4k I had some weird micro stutters so I'm not sure what's going on with that but uh, yeah let me know down in the comments below if you will be picking up Lies of P once this releases and play it or not I probably will be, though I still have Elden Ring to finish here. Uh, it takes me so long to actually finish that game and now Diablo 4 came out and I've been really busy playing that, so... Yeah, that's why there also wasn't any video for the past week. Uh, I also had some uh, local uh, work to be done, but uh, yeah. A quick reason why there were no videos so here we go lies of p 4k best preset here in the uh, first area we get about uh, oh, two are. not that uh, really oh, good no. fps 45 and uh, do you see the top left corner we currently have about 250 watts usage which i have currently overclocked and uh, our megahertz score clock is at uh, 2.1k which is super weird so let's check the settings here Maybe if I lower some overclock setting and uh, we get maybe more smooth, better FPS with, I mean, uh, megahertz core clocks because uh, this graphic card A770 is actually uh, limited to 2400 megahertz. So uh, is it actually the game's fault that it's not working correctly? Look at this. I am not able to actually get the megahertz core clocks to uh, 2.4K, which is super weird, but uh, you know, uh, I will lower some voltage here in Intel Arc OC panel for the, for the megahertz core clock speed to 2.4K and uh, let's see if we can actually get a stable okay now we are at uh, almost 2.2 but it dropped a bit so see there it boosted for a sec so it must mean it's the voltage problem let's see what uh, we can do to mitigate this issue and uh, gain the full megahertz core clock speed out of our Intel Arc A770 Look at this guys, uh, dropping uh, some voltage actually boosted up our uh, core clock speed and now wait, now we are actually almost at a 2.4k, probably we need to lower a bit more, let's try and lower a bit more and see if we can get a stable uh, 2.4k megahertz core clock speed and uh, yes, here we go. So maybe actually it's not good to overclock in this game, I might just leave it at stock. But when I was running at stock it was also acting really weird, so I hope this uh, game will get updated or drive will get game ready drivers for this, because uh, yeah, there are were still some issues with the demo, but overall experience I must say it was a really smooth one. Uh, I still haven't finished the, the demo actually uh, because I wanted to record some footage and uh, provide you the video as soon as possible uh, but I will finish it up and uh, write down in the comments how the demo worked but uh, I mean you can also follow my video right here and see how approximately Intel Arc A770 works at this game uh, we're currently getting about 50 FPS average you can see in the second bracket that uh, the FPS counters in the top left corner and uh, yeah, but this is an indoor area, which uh, I expect that this will actually drop to around 30 when we are outside. But uh, we will see soon enough. Uh, here we are going to select our uh, combat style. Uh, which one will you be going? Uh, dexterity might be good, but uh, yeah, I mean, let's just go for the brute strength. Get our two-handed weapon and uh, run around and see how it works. 
we need to go to the hotel crowd so we need to actually leave this uh, train station that we are right at i think this is a train looks like it so yeah let's quickly open the door here and get out of uh, this train and uh, see what kind of performance we get in a more uh, open spaced indoor area okay these guys oh we already dropped a few frames but it's holding up pretty good around 40 for now uh, we do get these occasional starters they only happen mostly at 4k but at 1440p when we get around 90 fps or so so uh, the stutterings weren't there so it could be a problem with frame time graph rendering uh, i'm not sure i'm not that uh, technical specialist in this case but i'm learning slowly here and there to give you more accurate info you know? but uh, yeah let's go quickly here see if uh, fsr maybe will help us again to 60 fps oh oh guys look at this fsr at quality setting indoor area we are getting a smooth 60 fps and the frame time graph right up there do you see this it is really flat and smooth so uh, in this game you probably will need to have a locked 60 fps more is better i saw that but uh, if you have it locked at 60 it will be really smooth if you ask me so uh, yeah fsr will be needed at 4k we will be also testing it out at the end the uh, quality a balanced and performance mode so stay tuned for that uh, but yeah there are some fighting scenes at uh, 14, uh, 4k fsr quality setting we are maintaining indoor areas like i said before as you can see also 60 fps not bad frame time graph you see this now frame time graph i didn't have any stutter but there were like big graphs so i'm not sure what's going on but yeah let's turn off fsr and uh what shall we go graphic quality preset at medium and see if we can get a 60 fps cap oh yeah i mean okay here we go we are getting about uh, 60 it's still not enough to maintain 60 fps indoor areas at medium preset without fsr at 4k but uh we are getting there with a variable refresh rate monitor and uh, this sync on this should probably be a smooth experience uh yeah let's see if low does it hmm? let's see if low quality preset does it oh yeah this looks like to, to be a more uh, stable 60 fps experience at least here indoors look at the usage it's around the 90 percent so we still have a bit headroom left to uh, test but uh, yeah probably low quality seated uh, setting will be needed to run at 4k without fsr or just pump everything to the best and uh we will use fsr later on then you can decide what works best for you but uh fsr is needed to have uh, 60 fps at 4k best quality preset or you can run like i said low it looked i mean still pretty okay at 4k the graphics are sharp and everything but i mean i might prefer to use fsr 2.0 or whatever this one has now and uh, have 4k best quality preset on so yeah see 4k low preset works good indoor area 60 fps mostly average here at uh, champion fighter or whatever you can say here it works pretty good i mean except th this uh frame time graph look for what's going on the gameplay feels good but there's weird stuttering or what's that going on so i'm not sure but uh yeah this is it for uh, 4k low preset let's quickly here go outside and uh, have best quality preset so we see what i mean what happens with the frame rate here we go guys look at this outside area we dropped i mean not that much but uh once we move further a bit you can see we will drop to around 35 fps which i mean if you lock to 30 fps it's a good playable experience probably what you will expect at uh, playstation uh, quality setting but uh, yeah it will compete with playstation for sure for sure much better probably but uh yeah here we go guys now we move to 1440p best quality preset we sync on so we uncap the fps limit and as we can see we are getting a smooth uh, 80 about 80 fps average indoor uh, fighting here some months and uh, yeah the frame time graph it's not bouncing up and down as much as it was at 4k and the gameplay experience was uh, much smoother though there were still shown these starters on the frame time graph like you can see there but it actually didn't 
uh, you know noticed them when I was playing so uh, uh, if you know what's going on let me know down in the comments below because uh, it's probably game engine's fault or uh, maybe just like I said before it needs some optimization but uh, yeah at 1440p best quality preset without any FSR or anything else you can expect about uh, 80 90 FPS average indoor areas and uh, 65 outdoor area which is a perfectly playable experience I would probably just use uh, FPS limiter to 60 and be done with it or maybe use VSync limited to Hertz monitor that you have indoor area working without issue at 40 best quality preset expect like I said for 60 FPS plus for sure uh, but uh, yeah let's see actually let me kill this one before I change to outdoor area but uh, yeah let's see how outdoor area goes oh, look at these guys we are at 69 FPS mm. though uh, frame time stuttering here look what's going on with the frame time graph I'm really not sure let me know down in the comments if it's normal but uh, the experience outside in the outside area is also pretty smooth I said before way over 60 fps almost all of the time so you can expect playable experience at 1440p at 1080p what do you say guys will we get about 120 fps or uh, will it be kept at less we can expect about 100 fps if we compare to 1440p here we get about 70 75 76 fps average which uh, yeah you let me know down in the comments below if this is a playable experience for you or not but uh, for me it surely is i would not complain if, if the final game would work like this but i expect there will be some more optimizations like i mentioned before hopefully hopefully they will spoil us with some more driver updates intel and also the developers they would uh, fix these uh, frame time stutters and uh, yeah let's now go back to the indoor area here and uh, switch to 1080p because I need to share with this we all know it will work perfectly fine but uh, yeah look at now the frame time graph the once we get 120 fps at 1080p it's smooth no starters nothing so uh, hmm, do you think it's a game engine problem uh, let me know I suspect it is because uh, why is it working that much smoother at 120 fps uh, when uh, at 60 fps we get this weird frame time buffer or yeah <laughs> the temperatures are quite high for 1080p as you can see we get about 76 degrees on our intel arc gpu and i'm not sure why because uh, usually lowering the resolution lowered my gpu temperature in almost all of the games i've tried it on so uh, <laughs> 75 degrees while it's still normally this time of year I got about 25 degrees now in my room it's getting pretty hot so uh, yeah I think 75 degree uh, Celsius is normal temperature for this graphic card at uh, 4k uh, lately I've been noticing uh, my GPU with uh, 2500 rpm just like we have now uh, spiking the temperature to 88 degrees it's still boosted to 2.4k gigahertz so uh, it didn't actually downclock but uh, it's a really high temperature <laughs> to what I'm used to <laughs> and before I was running at 1440p most of the games it ran about 70 degrees but now switching to 4k it's insane <laughs> I get uh, really high degrees look at this outside area it's a bit more demanding the temperature also rose more to 78 degrees and it's now staying there for the, most of the time uh, so yeah at 1080p slice of P working just great you will not have any problems running it uh, I do suggest if you have 1440p just put, put everything to best quality preset if, if you have 1080p high refresh rate I mean you can just put maybe high preset because uh, best quality preset not much of a difference between uh, best and high and there's a performance difference there so uh, if you want me to make another video to test out the quality presets in this game I will gladly do so but maybe at the end of the, once this game releases so we can compare that and uh, you see the, if any performance boosts were there with the latest drivers that will be released and uh, the final release of the game but yeah 
here I get uh, one shot. So yeah, now would be probably the perfect time to actually test FSR because it's quite already long video. And uh, here we go, 4K best quality preset FSR at quality setting. At uh, the outside area where it's more demanding, we are getting about 50 FPS average, which I mean is playable. Uh, frame time, look, this frame time at 4K, it's really weird. So at one moment it's really flat, working good, and then at the next moment it stutters for a second, and then this big stuttering line comes there. So, uh, what's going on? Anyways, uh, 45, 40, 50 FPS average at uh, 4K best quality preset FSR at quality setting. This is what you can expect. Maybe lowering the preset to high would make this at quality setting be playable at 60 FPS. What do you say, guys? Uh, but uh, yeah, in this video we will not be testing that, we will be just testing uh, further the balanced uh, and uh, performance plan on FSR. Will a uh, performance plan be, I mean performance setting on FSR be enough to maintain 4K 60, I mean upscaled 1080p to 4K with uh, the AI technologies that we have, but yeah, uh, quality mode will not be able to handle a smooth 60 fps most of the time in lies of p at best quality preset but uh, let's switch to balanced here and see how balanced goes okay okay guys this is looking uh, better if you ask me still not quite there at the 60 fps cap but a few drops to 58 to 55 fps you won't notice it so uh, is actually the balanced uh, preset on FSR the way to go to play this game at uh, 4K best quality preset? Hmm? This looks really good. I haven't seen any uh, flickering, you know, uh, FSR problems. Even the rain is rendering perfectly. Not like in Witcher 3. <laughs> when you turn on FSR, you lose the rain effects, which <laughs> is just bad. <laughs> but you know what, guys? In Modern Warfare 2, I was actually playing with XSS. You see the rain effects in that lighthouse map. You see the rain effects, okay. But then I turned on FSR and suddenly the rain effects disappeared. And I was like, what? Hex. <laughs> and uh, suddenly my skill improved for <laughs> about 15, 20% because I saw more <laughs> without the rain effect. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Not viable, but uh, yeah, I mean, it boosts FPS and you see more, so maybe it's a good option to use FSR and no graphical glitches in Marvel for 2. But here in, uh, like I said, Lies of P, FSR is working pretty good. I'll, um, you let me know if you see any graphical glitches at the balanced pre preset that we are currently using right now on the FSR. But uh, yeah, I mean, looking at it, works good, plays good, looks good. <laughs> Let's go now, performance mode. Maybe here we see more graphical glitches. But I mean, overall image quality also at 4K performance FSR, it's um, <laughs> looking pretty good, looking pretty good. I saw some smearing here and there in the background, you know, further objects, but uh, what uh, rendered close by, I mean, can't complain. And as we can see, we are averaging about 70 plus FPS at FSR performance mode, which is pretty good. Now. Imagine this game actually having XCSS. Wow, now that would be a really good idea to have. Come on, developers, please add XCSS in this game. It improves visual quality way over FSR. Oh, okay, I can't complain with the FSR quality in this game. Looking good. But uh, imagine what XCSS 1.1 could do. It would further improve the visual quality in this game for sure. M maybe give us more FPS than FSR does. Because, you know, Intel Arc and uh, XSS going really well together. And, uh, yeah. Let me quickly kill this monster here. Let's go. Chop. Oh. Oh. The guy just one shot me from behind. God damn it. God damn it. Not good. Anyways, as we can see, performance what is working really good. Let me just quickly do another speed run around the map here and see what kind of FPS we maintain, but on um, performance FSR, but yeah, 70 FPS average is uh, for sure to be expected, you can see in the, the 1% low is 40, which is probably only when it was loading, because the game is handling pretty fine, FSR. 4K FSR performance, best quality preset, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, 
have you seen my new uh, subscribe intro <laughs> i was using this uh, online app called screen run app it's pretty basic but for nine bucks i mean you can do some sort of screenshot animations and other stuff like that but yeah if uh, you weren't convinced at the start probably now you will be so make sure <laughs> you like subscribe share the video and uh, we will see ya in the next one which uh, will probably be really soon because uh, yeah i haven't posted a video for a while and uh, i want to keep my streak going at least to have a few weekly videos like one two three four maybe four five depends on the time that i will have but yeah thanks for watching this is La was lies of p on intel arc a770 and uh, yeah see ya guys in the next one peace out have a great day and remember you matter